Hello, I'm Dean Martin with Transmission Digest. Welcome to the Transstar Industry Studios here at Babcock's Media. Today we're going to discuss transmission filtration. Uh, as with every other component in a transmission, filters have evolved over many, many years um, within engines, transmissions, and so on. Filters are normally replaced as part of a routine service or during a rebuilding process, um, but a filter can also be an indication of another problem. Uh, when you had the old uh, wire mesh filter, what we call the rock collectors, um, they did okay, but uh, as newer transmissions came out, better filtration was required. But other issues can pop up and the filter can be a symptom of the problem. Uh, many years ago, there was a transmission called a 325 Pharrell and they had drain back, torque converter drain back issues. Um, and so General Motors put in an anti-drain back valve in the neck of the filter. And that uh, took care of the drain back problem. However, when the engine would shut off, it would kick backwards a little bit, flip that seal up and down, um, upside down, and cause it to tear after a while. The filter check valve would then go out through, throughout the transmission and cause a problem. So they had to eliminate that drain back valve in the filter and put a steel one in the transmission neck itself. Um, that was for a kickback issue. When Chrysler released the 45 RFE family in 1999, it was actually a two filter transmission. You had your main filter, which went into the pan, but you also had a cooler return filter, which screwed in kind of like an engine filter. Real, initially, they didn't have any issues, but by 2005, a change was made to the cooler uh, return filter, and it resulted in a problem with the filter itself blowing apart. It would create this backup condition. Filters were, are not made to have a lot of internal pressure, so you would get a vehicle in with morning sickness or other issues, drop the pan, and there would be a split in the filter itself. Well, if you didn't look further, you would go ahead and replace this filter, and in a short amount of time, it would come back with that same issue. And the issue was the cooler return filter. So you get this, you have to know if this is a split filter, what the root cause was, which is the cooler return. As a safety gap, what the Filtran did was to upgrade their filters for the 45 RFE series, and they put in a pop-off valve. That's what this pink uh, plastic valve is, so that if you happen to get this momentary pressure buildup, it doesn't blow the filter apart, it just uh, releases pressure through the pop-off valve. All new filters for this transmission are made with this. So if you do a filter change or even a transmission rebuild, be aware that there are certain part numbers that you don't want to use on the cooler filter, but always look for the blow-off valve in the main pan filter so that you don't have the blow-off problem. Uh, if it doesn't have that, you run the risk of having uh, an issue, whether you change it for service or rebuild the transmission. Uh, more recently, there's been another issue with the 6L80 series, which is the General Motors rear-wheel drive six-speed. Same thing, car, uh, vehicles are coming in and the filter is split. And what this had to do with were pump issues. 
when you start getting wear problems in the pump, that can create a back pressure condition and end up blowing the filter. So again, you get the vehicle in, you have shifting pro engagement problems, uh, morning sickness problems, and you drop the pan and you see that this filter is split, don't just replace the filter. It is an indication that the pump assembly is bad and that's what's creating the uh, condition to cause this filter to split. So again, it's an indication of don't just change the filter, be aware of the problem. It's not normal for the filter to split. And lastly, uh, because of design changes, you can have filters like 4L80 um, that when they are installed, if they don't have the right amount of um, uh, tabs underneath, the filter can actually drop out. And if you put it back in, again, it's just gonna drop out. So always make sure that you have the right part number for the applications that you're working on so that the filter stays in position. So again, uh, a simple thing like a filter, uh, you can change it for the normal reasons. But if you run into issues such as a crack filter or the filter is out of place, find and fix the problem. Don't just replace the part. In conclusion, contact Transtar for all of your filter needs and the correct part numbers that we discussed today. I'm Mike Riley. Thanks for watching. See you next time.